Japanese occupation of Kiska. The Japanese occupation of Kiska took place between June 6, 1942 and July 28, 1943 during the Aleutian Islands Campaign of the American Theater and the Pacific Theater of World War II. The Japanese occupied Kiska and nearby Attu Island in order to protect the northern flank of the Japanese Empire. Along with the Attu landing the same time, it was the first time that the continental United States was invaded by a foreign power since the War of 1812. Likewise, the offensives ultimately ended in defeat and withdrawal. Initially, the only American military presence on Kiska was a 12-man United States Navy weather station and a dog named Explosion, two of whom were not present during the invasion. The Japanese stormed the station, killing two Americans and capturing seven. After realizing that Chief Petty Officer William Seahouse had escaped, a search was launched by the occupying forces. The search ended in vain, with House surrendering some 50 days after the initial seizure of the weather station, having been unable to cope with the freezing conditions and starvation. After 50 days of eating only plants and worms, he weighed just 80 pounds. Beforehand, the prisoners of war had been sent to Japan. The attack on Pearl Harbor and beginning of the Pacific Theater in World War II, coupled with Japanese threats to the west coast of North America and the Aleutian Islands, had already made the construction of a defense access highway to Alaska a priority. On February 6, 1942, the construction of the Alaska Highway was approved by the U.S. Army and the project received the authorization from the U.S. Congress and President Franklin D. Roosevelt to proceed five days later. Reacting to the Japanese occupation, American and Canadian air forces waged a continuous air bombardment campaign against the Japanese forces on Kiska. Also, U.S. Navy warships blockaded and periodically bombarded the island. Several Japanese warships, transport ships, and submarines attempting to travel to Kiska or Attu were sunk or damaged by the blockading forces. In May 1943, U.S. forces landed on Attu in Operation Land Crab and subsequently destroyed the Japanese garrison there. In response, the Imperial Japanese Navy successfully evacuated the Kiska garrison on July 28, ending the Japanese presence in the Aleutian Islands. Not completely sure that the Japanese were gone, the Americans and Canadians executed an unopposed landing on Kiska on August 15, securing the island and ending the Aleutian Islands campaign. After the landing, the soldiers were greeted by a group of dogs who had been left behind. Among them was Explosion, who had been cared for by the Japanese. Over 313 Allied casualties resulted from this attack on the unoccupied island, due to friendly fire, accidents, landmines, and booby traps. On June 19, 1942, American aircraft attacked and sank the Japanese oiler Nissan Maru in Kiska Harbor and on June 30 American naval forces bombarded the island. The American submarine USS Growler attacked and sank one Japanese destroyer 7 Mi east of Kiska Harbor on July 5, two other destroyers were also heavily damaged. Over 200 Japanese sailors were killed or wounded while the Americans sustained no losses, it became the single bloodiest engagement during the operations on and around Kiska. USS Grunion was attacked by three Japanese submarine chasers while patrolling Kiska Harbor on July 15. In response, she fired on and sank two of the Japanese ships and damaged the third. Grunion was lost a few weeks later off Kiska on July 30 with all hands, she is suspected of being sunk after one of her own torpedoes circled back when she attacked the Kano Maru. On August 8, the Japanese cargo ship Kano Maru was sunk at Kiska Harbor by PBY Catalinas. Days before, the cargo ship was damaged by one of Grunion's torpedoes. Troopship Nozima Maru was also bombed and sunk in Kiska Harbor on September 15. On October 5, the Japanese steamer Borneo Maru was sunk at Gertrude Cove and on the 17th, the destroyer Oboro was sunk by American aircraft. RO-65 sank off Kiska on November 4, Montreal Maru on January 5, 1943, and Urijo Maru on April 4. I-7 was grounded and abandoned by her crew on June 23 while assisting in removing Kiska's garrison. She was chased onto the rocks by USS Monaghan.